So we just finished up a podcast, episode 89, in which we brought Bruce Thom on and did an interview on the actions. But if you noticed in that podcast, when asked about betting, uh, he almost laughed and said that it was absolutely necessary. And in, in this video here, we're going to talk about why it's so important and some of the things you're really trying to correct. So if you want a great shooting rifle, you're pretty much going to have to consider betting it, chassis or not. So what we're going to do is take a couple minutes here and go over some of the betting issues. We just betted this rifle here. This is a bumblebee, and I want to show you what it sort of looks like in the setup. And there's different ways to bed these different actions. So this isn't the setup that we would use for everything. This is simply because it's a flat bottom, and I'll show you here in just a minute. But if you want a fantastic shooting rifle, you almost have to bet it. I mean, there, there really is no way around it. And like Bruce had said in the podcast, that. If you're trying to break into that quarter minute gun uh, consistently, this is where it means you have to mirror the contact of the receiver to the actual footprint of uh, the stock, whether it's a chassis system or whether it's a conventional molded stock like this. So here's what happens. When you take a rifle that's not bedded, they'll either have a V-block system or they'll have like this, it's, it's, it's milled out to sort of mirror it but it's not really contacting everywhere underneath the action. And so what can happen while you're shooting is you, you allow the action to do a couple of different things because they do flex. So it can actually walk back and forth in the action like this. It can actually roll and move around. So as it's flexing, uh, another danger in a traditional round type receiver is if you've got a really hard contact point on one side here on the right, and on the front side on the left, it's trying to jam and work between the two. And we see it, uh, we get chassis that in here that, that have voids and really bad contact areas. It is not gonna lend itself to a great shooting rifle, so you have to bet it. So when you bet a rifle, what it does, especially when a Remington 700 round like so, is you can see that the tang here is round, and we run up round, and then we've got this flat spot where our integral recoil lug goes. When you bed this rifle, you're mirroring it, into a compound that locks the rifle in this way so it can't rock back and forth or, or laterally move. But without bedding this round part in the, in the back, think of it like a rudder. You know, if, if, it's, if it's able to move, it can, it can actually float that off the face of the contact point on the recoil load. So when we bed around the back of the receiver, especially in this area where your action screw is, you're bedding it inside that perfect round, and once it's drawn in tight, it cannot move left or right. So you're keeping it from rolling, and you're keeping it from yawn. Now, when you get into a flat receiver, I really love the design. This is fantastic, but it's even worse. The reason I say that is you've got no rounded area to sort of drill this into place to keep it from from kicking side to side. If there's any voids or if these little dimples that set into the receiver aren't locked in tight, like like really tight, the action can wiggle, move, do all kinds of funny stuff and it will take and just constantly cause you issues with your rifle. And so what we did is this is a rifle that we just bedded. I'm gonna pop it off here and show you what it looks like when it's done. This rifle, we expect it to shoot beyond belief. That's what they're made for and you have to bed them to do that. So we are going to hold some classes. We have some custom rifle building classes, which we're going to teach betting in that class. And we might also do an entire series uh, here talking about the different stocks that we use and how you bed them. But I just want to share with you real quick what a proper betting job looks like. And this one we just finished up. I betted it myself last night. So let's show you what it looks like. So this is a flat receiver. So the first thing I'm going to do, as you can sort of see, I like the bed in this case because we can take the barrels on and off with the ACE system. I like to bed it with the barrel removed. There's no sense in having that, that barrel pulling down on the front of the receiver uh, when we're getting ready to bed it. So what we're going to do is 
We have this set up here. We're going to pull out our action screws. They're sort of a guide. So we got a little bit of tape. You can zoom in here. A little bit of tape right there. We'll have to get out. But you can see how we've mirrored that bottom rear dimple inside, setting on top to the post. So we're touching not only left and right, we're actually bedded against the rear of the tang here. And then when you come up front, you can see that this is perfectly flat. It's it's got our sides caught, so the again we're keeping that that movement left and right. We got a recoil lug, and then that that part of the receiver that goes down and sets on top of the recoil lug, that is now wedged into a perfectly shaped cone that is going to lock into the bottom. So you you hold the receiver tight, left and right, back and forth here, perfectly tight. You draw it perfectly flat on, and the rear you do the same, and you will make a world class shooting rifle. But if you want a great shooting rifle and you want a quarter minute rifle, this is something you're going to have to do. And just to give you an idea of what the receivers look like uh, when we're getting them ready to do them, and again, we'll do some gunsmithing videos and sort of share with you what we do. But we're holding this now perfectly tight. Uh, we're perfectly tight on the back of the recoil lug and then our sides as well. But just to give you a little idea of what the actions look like when they're going in, but we'll go over all of what we do here to sort of protect all the holes and and to keep the uh, bedding compound from getting into areas it's not supposed to be. So anyway, this is just a follow-up video to talk a little bit about uh, what Bruce was saying. You know, if you really want a quarter-minute gun or better, if you want a rifle to shoot the absolute best it can, you really have to learn how to bed it or have someone professionally do it for you. Now, I'm going to stop right there and tell you, there are a lot of people that do not know how to, to bed a rifle stress-free. If you bed a rifle improperly, you will make more issues than you solve. And so doing it correctly is super important. If you're going to take the time to do it, make sure it's done right. We'll make sure that it's a qualified person that's doing it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll post up some more as we keep going. And I think we're going to do some instructional videos on some of the different stocks and chassis as we keep moving along. Thank you.